on the site. But let me see. I've got a few questions. I'm going to keep this one short. Um, but let me see. SS, thank you so much for all your comments. I appreciate that. Um, let me says, see. It says, uh, need to know how to take a system from beginning of the life cycle regarding risk management framework. Most wait till systems are established and it costs them way more. Absolutely. That's so, so true. A lot of organizations, what SS means is that is that the risk management framework, compliance in general, com security compliance in general, meaning different regulations in your industry, whether it's retail industry or if it's banking industry, or finance industry, healthcare industry, government, all of us have to meet certain rules and regulations um, that we are beholden to. And if you put those regulations in way later, it's way co it's very costly. So a lot of the compliance frameworks, particularly the risk management framework 800, it lines itself up with something called the SDLC or system development life cycle. That means when the system is actually being developed, you're already thinking about security. You're already thinking about how can we become compliant with this? If you are connecting you, you, let's say you have a store, right? You have all these, you have a hundred sites, hundred stores, and you guys have already implemented the networks and all. Everything's working great. You've got a, a you've got a, a guest a wireless network. You have a, a local area network. Everything's working great. But then you get a scan and you find out you guys are violating a, you have the point of sale device that you use to take people's credit cards on the same network as the employees and that that same network is touching the guest the guest network of the wireless that's really really bad and it's going to cost you a lot of money to go back separate the networks because the point of sale device is supposed to be separate from the production uh network it's supposed to be have its own lane but now you got to go back this this is what ss is talking about now you have to go back because you didn't implement this during the development of the system during the design of the system right so the the design system design has different uh steps to it like the first one's design the next one is implementation the next one is i'm probably screwing this all up and then the next one is operating the that network testing the network and then operating the network so there's different parts of it so in the very beginning stages when you are actually designing it you need to already be thinking about okay does this meet industry standards? Do, can we put security in place? And if you do it early on, it's way cheaper for the organization. It's you know, it's in the beginning you, you're going to pay a little bit more, but it's way less costly than doing it when the system's already put together. 